Toyota Research Institute has announced the development of a groundbreaking generative artificial intelligence, enabling quick and confident training of robots in new skills. The latest social survey in the United States revealed that 14% of respondents have already experienced job loss due to robots. Artificial intelligence has predicted the end of humanity. By 2040, robot spiders that will soon infiltrate Japanese homes. The latest robots, scientific discoveries, and other high-tech news in one video. Soon each of us will be able to teach a robot to make a sandwich without any programming or robotic skills. Toyota Research Institute has announced the development of a groundbreaking generative artificial intelligence, enabling quick and confident training of robots in new skills. According to researchers, this achievement significantly increases the utility of robots and marks a step towards creating large-scale behavior models for robots, similar to the large language models that have recently revolutionized conversational artificial intelligence. Robots created at the Toyota Research Institute can now interact with the surrounding world in various ways, potentially allowing them to assist human in everyday situations and unpredictable, constantly changing conditions. With the new approach, Toyota Research Institute has already trained robots in over 60 complex, agile skills, including pouring liquids using tools and manipulating deformable objects. These achievements were made without writing a single line of new code. The only change was providing the robot with new data. Building on this success, Toyota Research Institute has set an ambitious goal to teach hundreds of new skills by the end of this year and 1,000 by the end of 2024. It seems that a true revolution in the field of robotics from Toyota is on the horizon, promising to integrate robots into the daily lives of people. The latest social survey in the United States revealed that 14% of respondents have already experienced job loss due to robots. The survey involved more than 2,000 people. Researchers noted that the process of job loss due to robots is far from new, and its origins can be traced back to the first decades of the 19th century, specifically the Industrial Revolution. Today, despite the large amount of news on this topic, the impact of robots on jobs is greatly exaggerated. However, in the coming decades, the issue of job displacement by robots may become more relevant than ever. In January of last year, researchers speculated that by 2040, artificial intelligence would displace a minimum of 12 million Europeans. Considering the rapid development of neural networks and related technologies, it is quite possible that this process may occur much sooner. Google has taught robots to program themselves based on simple instructions using generative language models from OpenAI to control the robots. The model takes a user command spoken in natural language and generates a simple code for the robot to perform the required actions. In the summer, Google researchers were developing an algorithm for robots to understand human commands and break them down into subtasks. In this new work, they employed a similar approach, and as a result, the algorithm produces the necessary code for the robot to execute the command. The model receives a task description formulated in simple language, such as stack all the blocks in the empty plate, and high-level environmental data, such as the information that there is a red doll on a yellow plate in front of the robot. The robot's actions or manipulations with objects are predefined as functions that the model can call. Artificial intelligence has predicted the end of humanity by 2040. The prediction was made by the World One supercomputer, designed to forecast patterns in human civilization, commissioned by the Club of Rome. The prediction boils down to a global collapse by 2040 if population and industrial growth continue at current levels. The models took into account trends in pollution levels, population growth, the quantity of natural resources, and the overall quality of life on Earth. The model's predictions about the deterioration of quality of life and the depletion of natural resources have been eerily consistent with reality. 2020 was the first milestone in the fall of human civilization that the supercomputer predicted. In 2018, it speculated that at that time, the quality of life would sharply decline, and it turned out to be accurate. In a direct quote, at around 2020, the condition of the planet becomes highly critical. If we do nothing about it, the quality of life goes down to zero. Pollution becomes so seriously, it will start to kill people, which in turn will cause the population to diminish lower than it was in the 1900. At this stage, around 2040 to 2050, civilized life as we know it on this planet will cease to exist. However, predictions of humanity's demise have been made regularly throughout the centuries. Do you believe in the predictions of artificial intelligence? 
a team of engineers from the University of Tokyo has unveiled a very unusual robot. The concept behind it was to enable the robot to walk, fly, and change shape in mid-air, with the ability to manipulate several objects simultaneously. The media has already dubbed this the future flying squid robots from the Matrix. Weighing 15 kilograms, the robot named Spider is indeed capable of taking flight. To realize this concept, each segment of the robot is equipped with its own propellers, operating as individual multicopters capable of directing thrust in any direction. Walking seems almost pointless with such a design. The robot can walk for 20 minutes and fly for only 9, but during a minute of flight, it will likely cover a greater distance than in 10 minutes of walking. Researchers hope to benefit from the robot being able to manipulate four limbs simultaneously. However, controlling such precise manipulations must be exceptionally challenging. Brightpick has introduced warehouse robots called Auto Picker, presenting an innovative solution for automating warehouse operations. Thanks to its design that does not require modification of the warehouse or shelves, the system excels in locating and collecting orders into individual containers. The autonomous capability of these robots to fully assemble orders and deliver containers to pick up points represents a significant leap forward in warehouse automation, substantially optimizing the entire order processing workflow. Engineers from the University of California, San Diego, have developed a robot that can adapt to movement in various conditions. To achieve this, it automatically adjusts the length of its limbs to navigate through narrow passages or climb stairs. The robot's telescopic legs are composed of six nested concentric tubes connected by springs. All adjustments are made mechanically. The robot does not have any sensors. It does not calculate paths or trajectories, but simply moves in the direction it is instructed. Such a robot is reliable and cost-effective, making it suitable for deployment in various hazardous environments without significant concern for potential damage. The Japanese startup TMSUK has unveiled a spider robot designed for inspecting sewer pipes. As wittily noted by AI Spectrum editor Evan Ackerman, if it's meant for the sewer, it could potentially infiltrate your home. However, SPD-1 was created in response to a staffing shortage in a company servicing roads and sewer pipes, so the project might indeed be quite viable. The robot measuring 21 by 28 centimeters and weighing about 3 kilograms is powered and controlled remotely via a cable. Its built-in camera allows real-time video streaming and the spider-like eyes of the robot are actually LED spotlights and sensors it uses to assess its surroundings. Moreover, these robots can operate in groups of two to three. ABB has taught its Cobot Gopher to bake Christmas cookies, which in our opinion is much more appropriate in terms of new skills and demonstrating the robot's productivity. Equipped with advanced technology and a wide range of functionality, Gopher not only prepares delicious desserts, but also successfully performs various tasks, serving as a reliable assistant in different fields. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in today's video impressed you the most. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you soon.